Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Ladies and gentlemen of the House, I rise in fierce opposition to this amendment. Like so many issues that we face, personal health care decisions are complex. And that's because human nature is complex. Religious beliefs are complex. What I and so many Iowans want the majority party to understand is that requiring a woman to wait 24 hours for a legal medical procedure, something this legislature has never required of any other medical procedure, is driven entirely by ideology that has nothing, absolutely nothing, to do with medical science. The intent of a 24-hour ban is the same as the 72-hour ban passed a few year, years ago and found unconstitutional. Make it harder for a woman to get the care she needs, and she just won't get it. Or perhaps it's the notion that women need politicians to protect them from themselves, because some of you may think that we haven't put every measure of thought into such a decision. I can't tell you how many of my constituents have contacted me about not letting politicians interfere in their private and sometimes difficult health care decisions, begging us to try and have some kind of understanding and empathy for what it's like to be the one walking in these shoes. I'm sure some of you are telling yourselves and your constituents, how big a deal is 24 hours? Well, here are a few things that the Iowans this will affect worry about. Not having a car or reliable transportation and having to ask someone to take them to an appointment, not just once, but two days in a row. Not having enough gas money, not just one, but two round trips somewhere. Looking at their bank account and wondering how they'll pay for that night in a hotel or an extra few meals because a doctor's appointment takes longer than necessary. Getting back home to relieve the babysitter and worrying that they won't be able to get childcare for the next day. These are real women's and real Iowans' concerns. And you need to think about them. Not just in a hypothetical, because this is real for Iowa women. When you say 24 hours is no big deal, you are refusing to put yourself in another person's shoes. You are only thinking about your own beliefs about someone else's health care decisions. And if members of this chamber insist on talking about morality, perhaps you can think twice about how forcing women to jump through hoops they don't deserve is what's immoral.